But I will also acknowledge that one of the reasons we did this on background, acknowledging the fact that uh, you know, uh, other people who were privy to this report before it was publicly released chose to leak it to members of the media. So you see the dynamic here, and we're, none of us are, are, uh, are uh, clean on this, so to speak, uh, in the sense that you, know, you guys all got the report leaked to you, or many of you did, but not all of you did. Uh, and in an attempt to address that, we held this uh, background uh, uh, telephone uh, press conference to try to address some of your questions. Uh, we had no choice, uh, but it is always our preference that this stuff is released publicly, and then we can discuss it publicly. Passing very yeah, targeted ahead, questions. Sure. Um, the implication on the call was that the department didn't educate people enough. Wouldn't Clinton, as the head of the entire department, isn't that her responsibility, not the, re the department's responsibility to her? That's the first one. I mean, uh, so, uh, uh, first of all, you're, you're right in that we have said that we did not do a good enough job in in processing and out processing to, to put it in a bureaucratic way uh, our senior officials but even as an institution so that people were aware of you know what the regulations were Brad I only say that a lot of these regulations have only kind of been thought about and formulated since she left office um, uh, in 2013 uh, specifically uh, was when NARA uh, came out with uh, kind of new and improved uh, recommendations and looked at this uh, okay. I mean, so the report says the guidance, the guidance was considerably more detailed and sophisticated by Clinton's tenure, and her security practices should be evaluated accordingly. But be that as it may, yep. um, you, 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 you reference again that not everyone knew that, that the, se the past secretary only used private email. Wasn't that her responsibility to let them know, in fact? Well, there think, is no other way they would have known, correct? Well, not that's not necessarily true, but as an institution, again, we acknowledge that well, we could have done more to... Uh, but that's her responsibility, isn't it? It even says here, Secretary Clinton had an obligation to discuss using her personal email account to conduct official business with their offices, not they had an obligation to learn independently about... You're talking her about her... I, I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about just... Apologies if I misunderstood. I thought you were talking about her, server. that it was her responsibility to uh, inform the department about regulations or, uh, sorry, I misunderstood. No, I'm talking about question. her using a private email and private server. Um, again, I, I'll just go back to what I said before, which is that, you know, it wasn't encouraged, but it was not prohibited. There were hack attempts on her uh, server. Uh, how did that not bring a reassessment that maybe this isn't, and then I it apparently just got plugged back in. Uh, how did that not bring a reassessment that uh, maybe this wasn't the best strategy? Well, I don't know. I, again, I, and I, I, you know, I don't know if the OIG specifically addresses the security of her system. Well, he says that she never uh, told I, anybody I, about I, it. I do know so. there were hack hack attempts, or the, that, but none of them were successful. How um, do you know that none of them were successful? I would just have to refer you to the. I, how do you know that? Because the report does not say that none of them were successful. I apologize. Actually, okay. I misspoke. All right. Yeah. All right. But I will say, but I, but I just would refer you to uh, Secretary Clinton's team to for uh, questions about the security of your system. You yeah, Carol. Okay. Um, Let's go to Carol. Not go to you, Jess. I apologize. Mark, this, this morning on the call, there was a fair amount of discussion uh, about the fact that when there was a comparison made with the, the three secretaries who used it almost exclusively and in that section that Brad just quoted they said specifically that the rules were clearly in line uh, were clearly in place uh, uh, by the time the secretary came in they were much more sophisticated so when you compare what secretary Powell did and what Secretary Clinton did, even though this morning many people said, or it was said repeatedly, that this was a problem going back several administrations. Do you not see a difference between what Secretary Powell did and what Secretary Clinton did? Again, I'm not going to, uh, you know, litigate from this podium uh, or uh, compare and contrast. I, I think that what we've said is that, you know, the policies, the regulations regarding the use of private email uh, have only really been 
uh, clarified uh, in the past several years. Uh, up until that point, again, uh, understanding that it was uh, not encouraged to use personal email, but it was not prohibited. And I think that um, this is an evolving uh, process in the sense that, uh, not exclusively to the State Department, I might add, in the sense that, uh, you know, uh, many agencies are struggling with how to uh, uh, preserve and manage uh, records keeping for uh, 